audience. Okay. okay, and then I'm going to make you host, but there's still quite a lot of people um, joining. Okay. So let me just make you host so that you've got that in the meantime. Okay. And unfortunately, we have a lot of load shedding at the moment, so I'm not sure how many agents are going to join, but anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. I see people are moaning on Facebook and WhatsApp and all that. Oh, moaning much better, not fun. <laughs> Um, I know it's, it's bad. Yeah, but it is recorded, so we will uh, we can exactly, put it up afterwards. Yeah. But, but um, otherwise, how are you? How are you guys? Um, is it picking up and all? Mm, picking up nicely. We've been busy. Thank you. Um, That's good. That's good. Uh, all the destinations and obviously we a lot of people wanting to book for December and yeah um, so we've seen what we've still got available and pushing but so far so good yeah uh, that's that's good hey now at least if he's picking up we get excited up yeah. here quite uh busy. I mean August was like 2019 you know it was just pegged throughout oh mm -hmm. awesome I was gonna ask oh that's good news yay yeah yeah Okay. And uh, September is, is not um hundred percent like August, but it, it, we can't compare either the numbers better than what we expected. Yay. You know, it's also gonna be busy. So yeah, we we're quite excited. Okay, well no, that's very, very exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course it's such a wonderful destination, so that's good news. Yeah, we um, need that. You can say that again. Yeah, so Trish, I think let's give it one more minute. Um no and problem. Then, and then I'll just give you the go ahead. Um, are you going to do a presentation then? Yes. Shall we just I'm... check that it does work? Okay, yeah. Let me maybe let me just check that it would go through. Check my screen. Can you see it? Um, no, not yet. Can you see it? Can see you see it? Um, have you got two screens or you got just the one screen? Uh, just just one for me, probably. Oh, no, no, no. Let me lower this one. Let me lower this one. Um. You remove all these other ones. Sorry, I was already busy with other things, so I no problem. Up there, let me remove all these other ones. Uh, we have our Zoom meeting, which must stay. More must go. Those we have. not come on as yet okay no i've also put it on pause because i wanted to get it of all these other these other screens which i had which i'm thinking they were up instead of down so now i have the zoom one and the, the one for let's see now people agree Do you see anything now? No, not yet. No. Are you using the share screen, the green one, huh? Um, just hold on, hold on, let me check which one I'm mm -hmm. using. Should be working, but I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just surprised that it's strong. Okay, 
shared screen. And then and I'm picking. And now? Nothing either. No, Trish, not yet. No. Unless you just stop share and then try share again. Yeah, maybe let me let me do that. Let me stop the sharing first. Okay. No, nothing yet. Nothing Sorry, guys, yet. we're just testing the screen. We'll be with you in a minute. All right, okay, Dave, I'm trying again. Right, let's try again. No, it's not, it's not taking my shared screen. Is the presentation up on your side? I right now I actually removed it because I wanted now it's up. Can you see it? No. Because if, if you've got more than one screen, are you sure you've got it on the right screen? Yeah, yeah, I've got it on the right screen. And you, pressed, and you pressed on that green share screen little icon on the bottom of the zoom. If you go the, down the bottom where it says no. zoom, there, you need to share the screen there. Yeah, because if I go there onto the, you see the, that more button thing. Yeah. Sort of options. And then I've got the share screen one. Yeah. And then, uh, and then there's my Explorers Village. And then there's my share. Oh, there we go. It's starting to come. There we I go. I can see it. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So welcome to today. Um, and we've got the wonderful Trish who's going to go through. It's all about Big Falls today and tell us all the exciting things that we can do. And um, yeah, I'm happy. Trish, maybe you want to take you, once you've spoken, you can take your camera off because sometimes it does. Um, yes, it affects, but, yes, yeah. Yeah, but you're welcome to go ahead. Thank you. No, you're most welcome. Thank you so much for that. There you go. Uh, so good morning, everybody. <laughs> I don't know how many people are listening. Um, but so my name is Trish from Shearwater, and I'm going to take you through the Explorers Village. Um, some of you may know about it. It's a, a fairly new product. And then when we opened the um, extension, which brought the deluxe rooms in, then COVID happened. So we kind of like starting to sell it from scratch again. The beautiful product. I hope you can love it. And hopefully one of these days you guys can come up and see it as well. So here we go. I will take questions and anything afterwards, comments afterwards, but for now, I will just let it draw as it is.
Sorry, Trish, I'm not sure if there is supposed to be sound because there isn't any coming through. So come again. There's no sound. Is there meant to be sound? With the video. I wrote it down. Are you can you hear it now? No, we can't hear any. You need so to I had wrote it down. Uh, you need to share your computer sound. So I had, sorry, sorry, I had brought the sound down. Okay, it's not a problem. I think we got the idea. Maybe you just want to tell us a little bit about it because there was no sound, because it really is a beautiful, beautiful property. Yes, yeah. Oh, no, the, the sound wasn't a person talking, it was just music, background music. Okay. Yes, yeah. So obviously, um, so maybe I, could have, I should have done that. Okay, so that's fine. There's no, um, there's no. So obviously, we have um, 42 standard rooms, and um, of those, 31 of them are uh, um, twin rooms, which can be converted into a double room as well, if there is need for that. And then the standard rooms on their own have got um, the all rooms are end suites. They have their own tea making facilities, a safety box, a, a, an air conditioner, a mosquito nets for the mosquitoes at night and all that. And it has got one face basin in the bathroom. And I'm sure you've seen when you see the deluxe rooms now, they have a, a two face basins. We kind of like build deluxe rooms after finding comments from the standard rooms, you know, because we started by opening the standard rooms first. But uh, the rooms are very comfortable. Um, all rooms have got pitch, which also gives them a good um, atmosphere when it comes to the temperatures and all that. The rooms are turned down in the evening unless a client says uh, they don't need turn down facilities. And then the deluxe rooms are about 30% bigger than the standard rooms. As you can see, they've got an extra feature of a working desk. They've got two like coat hanging areas, which are which is not in the standard rooms. And um, even the space on its own is bigger, a luggage rack as well for, for people to store their bags. And then that's the bathroom, which is bigger than the one for the, um, for the standard rooms. And all the, 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 uh, all the rooms are end suite and they all have shower. We do not have tubs in any of the rooms. Um, for the 96 rooms that are there, 42 standard and 54 deluxe rooms. And of the uh, two sections, they are also separated in different wings. Uh, the standard rooms are in their own section. Each chalet has got two rooms um, and there's four interleading rooms in case we have families with children and then we allocate them those if they are available at the time of booking so that they can check their children through the middle door that's there for the interleading facility. So we've got four interleading rooms in the standard section and four interleading rooms in the deluxe section as well. Um, the, the, these are the public areas. We've got five lounges where people can just sit around, check their Wi-Fi, check their messages and, and all that. They're free to sit or where they're waiting for a pickup for an activity, this is where they sit as well. Uh, the pool area, it's a view from the other side. And then that's the bar, the main bar area for two bar areas. This is the main one, uh, usually for those who want to sit around after dinner. And our restaurant is a 200 seater restaurant, um, just within the restaurant itself. But we, we have hosted about 300 parks in total um, with the Safari Rally in May and last year as well where the deck outside the actual restaurant can also be used as sitting areas for if there is need for that. And then the following is, a, is, a, is like the area of view of the place. So you see here on your, when you are looking at the picture now, on your, on your left is, are the deluxe rooms. 
And then the main area is in the middle where there's the reception, the entrance, the swimming pool, the bar, and then on your right are the standard rooms. The building on your far, far right there, that's Ilala Lodge, for those who know where Ilala Lodge next door to us. That's another view of how the layout is from, from above. And then we also see have our car park. That little place with the green roof, that's towards the screen there. Uh, that's the way the camping area is. It's, it's, it's closed off and it's far out. It's away from where the hotel starts. For obvious reasons, as you can imagine. That's the view from the, when you're coming from the force, looking at the restaurant and the, and the, and the grounds there. Very beautiful grounds as well that we maintain with the, with the accommodation area. Those are the pathways when you are going to your rooms. They are all labeled um, accordingly. That's the view of the rooms from a little bit um, of a distance there. And that's the view of a sea from again from the end of the restaurant where the hotel finishes on the way to the course towards the, 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 the pool area and the, the, the public and the lounge areas. Okay. So that's Explorers Village. Um, I don't know if anyone has got any questions on that one so far. No, I can say that I've seen it and it's very beautiful and um, really nicely located. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so if no one else has got any questions, um, I also wanted to show you guys the activities one, which I know some, some people haven't been or they have, got, um, have not seen it before. So I'm just going to pull that up. Give me a minute. Put that up now. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm pulling you up now. Let's see if I can share the screen as well. Okay, can you see it now? Do you see the screen? Yes, yes, thanks, Trish, yeah. Okay, all right, so I'm playing it now. Is the music on? No, I can't hear it. Okay. You need to share your computer sound in the top right hand corner. So if I see the, the first thing that we know is the reason why people come is to see the falls. So we've captured them in um uh using the different seasons so that people can appreciate what it is like during the high water season and what it looks like during the low water season. This is when it's at its lowest, where um, about a third of the floor is, is, is dry, but still people appreciate it because you can then get to see the geographical formation of the falls and uh, the gorges, which are not visible when the water level is too high. And then obviously to complement that as well, the flies over the Victoria Falls, which um, uh, you know almost 75% uh, of the visitors take, just to have the bird's eye view of the falls with the gorge where the rafting takes place there and the beautiful bridge which links Zimbabwe and Zambia as well. And the helicopter flies, everybody is guaranteed a window seat, as you know, and has got bubble windows. Uh, we've got two six-seaters and three four-seaters that we put up depending on the on the demand and how busy it is on each day. 
And this is our newly launched as well, the River Song, Luxury River Song, which was launched at the end of 2019. Um, also a beautiful product when you've got your high-end clients to, you know, we, we run um, early morning bed watching cruises on this one. Uh, we do lunch cruises if you for a group, and we also do sunset cruises. Obviously, the popular one being the sunset cruise. Uh, that setup, we made the lounge uh, set up with couches and bus tools. So we ran away from the usual cafe kind of style onto a lounge setup just to give you that like, nice um, luxurious aspect for, for clients who are looking for something that's more upmarket during their stay. So we still have the standard boat cruises and the, the, the um, luxury boat cruises. So it just depends on the client's option and their budget, and then you can take one of the two. And that's one of our standard boat cruises. This is a 100-seater, also a double deck. Um, the, the, the sitting style is a cafe style. And then this is uh, the dragonfly. It's a 30-seater. When you've got small family, I mean, families or small groups, you can also utilize this on a private basis. The bridge tour, um, this is a theatrical historic bridge tour where people are taken back 125 years ago when the bridge was constructed. It's a hilarious theatrical. And um, then, then those who are not afraid of heights actually can also do a catwalk under the bridge. It's all included in the package for the bridge tour. Uh, it's quite something that is uh, for all ages actually, but if you've got historians, is they would love this, so you can actually um, also encourage them to visit the bridge. And even if they're not bungee jumping, which I know most people will be like, oh, I can't do that. Um, they can just visit the bridge and enjoy the, the, the scenery from there. So you can see the views, the rainbows, the view from the bridge to the force and all that. It's quite um, spectacular. And of course, if they're like me, then they can take a bungee jump, you know, that kind of thing. And from the same bridge, we also um, offer the, the swing and the zip line from the same, offers different platforms, but the same bridge. So we've got four activities that we, we, we actually run from the, from the bridge there. With the swing, we can do either solo or we can do tandem, depends on the person's taste um, for the day. Yeah, I find mostly friends or couples, they prefer to go tandem because they give each other emotional support during this, the, the free fall. And the bridge slide, which is also called the zip line, this is, um, again, you know, not as hectic as the bungee and um, runs from one end of the gorge to the other. It can be solo or can also be tandem. With this one here, children can do up to six years, can tandem with an adult. As you can see here. And then this jet boat here is the new product which we launched as well just before COVID happened, but it's running up nicely now. Um, it happens below the gorge where the rafting takes place. So as you can see, it's really under the bridge and takes you to the foot of the force itself. So. Uh, from rapid number four, those who know the river, from rapid number four, and then it powers against the current to the foot of the force. And that spray there goes straight into you as you are um, uh, on the jet boat. Very exhilarating, real adventure, but it's a short turnaround product. So if someone is into adventure but doesn't have the whole day for rafting, then they can do the jet boat. Or they can do a, a, a combo jet boat and rafting. Because uh, you, you walk in once and then you walk in once at the end, out once at the end of the rafting trip. So you can actually combine the two during the low water season, like right now. And of course, the famous water rafting. Um, and now we are in low water. Um, we went into low water about a month ago and we'll be in low water up to about mid to end of December before the water level starts rising again. And these days we're getting um, a lot of clients now who are into physical, you know, I mean, fitness and all. So we do hiking at the top of the gorge, which is um, um, again, an activity which has really picked up a lot. And we've combined it with a village tour. So we visit the villages that are along the place 
Jin Town and the gorges themselves, just to also uplift the villagers. And for every visit that we do, to, we make to the village, we pay some royalties to the villagers as well. And it's an educational thing for the clients as well as for the villagers. And then we have safari walks in the national park. You know, we've got two beautiful national parks in Victoria Falls. One is called Chamabondo and the other one is called Zambes National Park. So that's where we do our game drives and our, our, our game walks. Very rewarding if you've got someone who is into safari and bird watching safaris as well. They can either do those on a boat or they can do those on a game drive as well. Um, something that is quite worthwhile if someone wants to enjoy and uh, get up and close up close and uh, we know with the animals and everything. These two national parks have got all the big five except the, the, the rhino, which we only find at the Stanley and Livingston, as you know. And that's one, some of our fleet for the, for the transfers. Um, the big bus, we've got two of those, those are 40 seaters, and then we've got uh, six 22 seaters, which are the coasters, and then we've got 15 uh, 13 seaters, which are the quantums. Each vehicle carries its own trailer for, for, for luggage. And we have a similar fleet, but at a smaller scale in Livingstone in Zambia, as well as in Chobe, you know, with Chobezi, uh, whom you know is our partner with you guys as well. So for transfers within the three um, towns around this area, um, those are the, the type of fleet that we use. And then for Chobezi, where we do our Chobe day trip or a boat cruise or game drive when people are staying in Chobe, we have two boats and then we've got uh, a fleet for the game drives themselves and then a fleet for the actual transfers as well. So that's uh, some of the scenarios you can expect when you go for a Chobe day trip. That's a traditional village tour. If it's not combined with the Patoka Gorge hike, we go out, we don't tell the villagers we are coming, we just arrive because we want the clients to have that authentic, that real experience when they get there. And then obviously the villagers take them around, show them their houses and how they live. And the clients are free to join in what they are, when they actually are doing on the day. If they're in the fields or they're carrying water and all that, then the clients will also encourage that the clients join them so that they can have a few of what it is like to, to, you know, to, to, to be in these rural places and all. So yeah, so that's um that's what I had put down for you guys. And um, if anyone has got any questions or comments, I am here for you. Thank you for listening as well and for watching. Thank you, Trish. Um, it's such an exciting destination with so much to do and such wonderful um, like the helicopter and the rafting. It's amazing. Um, yeah. How are the how's the waters at the moment? How's the falls looking? Okay, so now we are in the low water, as you know, but we haven't hit the lowest level. So about um seventy five percent is still flowing, and yeah. um Zambian side, you know, the eastern cataract area is starting to dry down now. Um, so rafting, obviously, as you know, is now at its best. Dead body yes. still. Because uh, that when it's low water, then rafting is at its best. The jet boat will probably close around October or early November because once it's too low, then the rocks are exposed and then the boat can't run. But rafting will continue rafting, uh, running, of course, because that's the right season for it. So the force are still quite good at the moment. And um, because we had so much rains this year and our winter was also prolonged, we only got out of winter like less than two weeks ago, surprisingly. Uh, yeah. so water level took time to come down. Okay, and, uh, that's awesome. And it's been raining again, which is surprising. We had rains two days ago. We had rains yesterday, and we were like, "What is going on with this? You know, with this weather and everything? We've never received rains in September." But yeah, oh, wow. so okay. we don't know what the weather pattern is gonna be this year. But yeah, for now, it's still quite exciting as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, it's cold weather here in Joburg today, so you the weather's now. crazy all over. <laughs> <laughs> does, does anyone have any questions on any of the activities or the property at all? No, everybody's very quiet. You must have covered it all. So, yeah. Thanks, Trish. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you so much. For joining and, um, Hope you have a good season and it all continues and the rain continues. So yes, thank you.
Yes, we do expect that for sure. You guys, all the best as well, hey? Thank you, Trish. Thanks everyone well. for joining. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks. Bye.